how I scrape LinkedIn jobs for free. A disclaimer before we start, this video is for fun and give you some information. Make sure you do your own research before you take decisions on the content on this video. Let's get started. First, we need to install Git, Python, and we need to sign up to GitHub. If you didn't do all of this and you don't know how to do it, chat GPT this or Google it. Then we go to this repository. Shout out to this guy who built this. He did most of the work for us. We can start this so we can support this guy. Next, we go and we open a terminal, this black screen. We copy paste the command and we open this code in our favorite editor. We can use Courser, Visual Studio Code or some another text editor to use. I'll use Courser. We duplicate config example.json or we can just rename it. I'm gonna copy paste it and we're gonna name it config.json. Here what you wanna do is you wanna config it based on what you wanna scrape. I recommend having a proxy but it will work without it. And here you can just put all your queries. And just for the example, I'll put one page. We open a new terminal. You can open it on the black screen that we had before or on your editor. And we run these three commands. This first command, make sure that now that we install the requirements, it will install it in the project in this folder and not in our general computer general folders. Once all the dependencies are installed, we're running this command. And now we see that we got some jobs. We got 16 records. We got filter jobs and we got another CSV. Now we run this command and we go to this address and now we see all the jobs and we can look at them. We can go to the job post. We can, can see the job description. We can see all the details. And another thing you can do is you can install Corsair AI, which is basically helping you write code with AI and you can just request stuff just by writing text. And what I did is I added some more information. For example, I want to get the number of employees. I want to get the, the description, the website, some other things that I can filter based upon. And I can also save to Airtable so I can run some automation that sends cold emails automatically. If you want to see more videos like this, click the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.